Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Walther came out with the new handgun. You actually may have seen it. About a month ago, they put it on their site. They made a couple YouTube videos, but it's never made its way out to the wild. And people were wondering, where is it? Well, it's making its way to its distributors now. And it is not a PDP. When the PDP came out, many people said, that, that thing is awesome. They loved it. I love it. But... It's a PD with many of the same features. So what are we talking about? Here we have the new Walther PD 380 with many of the same features that the PDP has, except it is hammer fired. Now, first glance, you may look at this and say that looks like a remade PK 380. The PK 380 has been discontinued in favor of this, and you will notice it is very much a different handgun so if you go with this you'll get this hard case two nine round magazines lock paperwork and everything else that comes in a handgun case but you look at that performance duty grip it has a cross directional texturing on the grip very heavily stippled all throughout everywhere you grip this you can feel that very nice grip that Walther has maintained throughout the years because so many people love it. Now with this, you get three finger contact and that's because it has this base plate on the bottom of the mag. It also has an ambidextrous paddle right there on the trigger guard. It is on both sides. A lot of people like that. They like to drop the mag with their trigger finger and they can do that with the PD380. You may also notice that it does not have a slide stop. In order to lock the slide back, you have to keep the mag in and then drop the mag to move it back into firing position. But it is a hammer-fired gun, and you'll notice also that it has this thumb safety that is ambidextrous. It is not a decocker, but one of the things that makes this interesting is that it will essentially decock the gun because see that right there it's got this plate that goes over the firing pin and then you manually drop the hammer and it doesn't go all the way back it makes no contact with the firing pin and then in order to fire it okay you've got the red indicator there and you are good to go super terrain slide serrations which is also performance duty and a 3.7 inch barrel. It is double action, single action. So when you have that double action pull, it's rather heavy. The single action is much shorter, obviously, and breaks a little heavier than many single action pistols. This is breaking right around six and a half pounds with a reset right there. It has a two slot pick rail. Pretty much a squared trigger guard. Nice overall feel. 3.7 inch barrel. Three dot sights. And nine round magazines. Now, this is the third 380 ACP handgun that Walther has. This is a CCP. This one's a 9mm, but they make this in 380 as well. And then they have the PPK. You know, the, the James Bond type gun. That's in 380. This is the PD 380 that has a very light rack. And that is what they're they're marketing this as. A, a very easy to operate, easy shooting 380. And, and that's the main benefit with 380 is that you can pack nine rounds in there, which is no different than nine millimeter, but it's a softer shooting handgun with a 3.7 inch barrel and a very light rack. The disassemble is also very different. Let me show you that. We'll drop the mag, this ambi, there it is, magazine release. You're going to put it on safe and then drop the hammer. At this point, see these takedown levers? You know how you usually pull it back a little bit? This, you don't do that at all. You just take it down and you push the slide off and there is the frame. Check out those frame rails. Very much long frame rails and the serial number is on the trigger chassis okay and here we have a captive recoil spring very small and the 3.7 inch barrel 
Okay, there's your safety there, firing pin safety. And then we'll go ahead and put it back in to, or put it back together. Interesting gun they have here. It, it's, it's different. It's very different. Now, you'll get to this point, and then what you'll do, it'll, it'll lock. So you'll, you'll pull these tabs down to put it back into place, and you are good to go. Nice looking gun. I, I love the way the Walther handguns feel. I love that cross-directional texturing. And the trigger is very wide. Check out how wide that is. So when you put your finger on there, it's like a lot of real estate. But let's go ahead and get on the scale. Here we have an unloaded PD380. It's weighing in at one pound four and seven eighths ounces. We move that to just ounces, 20 and seven eighths ounces so approximately 21 ounces here are nine rounds you're looking at 23 and 7 8 carry around got a hollow point there you're looking at 24 and a quarter ounces so they're they're marketing this as a easy to shoot easy to charge 380 acp and i think if you love 380 you're going to love this thing you really will because it's it's very well built, has many of the features as the PDP, but it's hammer fired and you have that short single action trigger pull. You have to drop the with a reset that's fairly short. It's in the mid-size, but they're they're marketing this also as a CCW handgun and you know what? The mid sizes are are coming back. I, uh, shall I say they're back? People want a mid size handgun. We're seeing that all over the place in nine millimeter. The question you're wondering is how much is that thing? Well, Walther is one of the few manufacturers that actually puts the price, the MSRP price, on their site. The PD 380 MSRP is four forty nine. Two nine round magazines and a very soft shooting. Easy to rack, 380 ACP. If it's anything like the Security 380, this will do very well. I was shocked. That one was so popular. It still is. It is extremely popular. So if you're one of those guys that say, well, it's not even a 9mm, I'm not interested. Let us understand there is a market out there for 380. Or Walter would have never done this. And, and they have three pistols chambered in 380. And I, I do believe that this is probably the easiest one to shoot because it's it's the largest by a little. This here has a 3.54 inch barrel. This has a 3.7 inch barrel. So you'll gain some accuracy there. And it's also very easy to charge. If you don't mind the absence of a slide stop, this thing is pretty cool. And the disassemble is nice as easy, nice and easy as well. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.